Hey everyone. Okay, so on Tumblr there was one of those I'm bored so I'm gonna post these. There's like one through fifty questions and people go into your ask and um ask you which one to say or tell you which ones to say. And um because I mentioned it, three people were geniuses and said do one through fifty and I really don't feel like typing it, so I'm just going to record the video and then post it and be like, here you go. Um, so I'm probably not going to do all 1 through 50. If they seem really pointless, like you would already know about me, then I'm probably not going to post it. So, um, there's so many, by the way. So let's just start. Okay. Um, number one, who was the last person you held hands with? My niece, um, because we were walking through stores today. So, yeah. Two, are you loud, outgoing, or shy? I think most of the time I'm loud and outgoing, but at times I can be really shy and awkward. If I'm not really comfortable around the people, I get really shy and awkward, and then, like, there's the awkward, I'm going to leave now, but I don't know how to say it. Yeah, I do that a lot. Three, who are you looking forward to seeing? A lot of people, actually, mainly my boyfriend, but... Uh, my best friend who is now on the other coast and my other best friend who's now in college and just everyone's gone now and I'm the only one stuck in my town still so just everyone um four are you easy to get along with I think so I don't ever I have never had a problem with getting along with people and I've never heard somebody tell me they hate me or heard somebody tell me that someone said they hate me or can't get along with me. So I think so. Uh, have you ever given up on someone then gone back to him or her? Not in a relationship. I've given people second chances, but it it was complicated. But more like in a friendship, um, this one person ended up changing completely when they started high school. And then just recently, I became friends with them again, and I really honestly think they've changed, and I'm giving them another chance, so hopefully it works out. Um, if you were drunk, would the person you'd like take care of you? Probably not, because he'd probably be drunk too if I were drunk with him, um, which means that I'd probably be taking care of him, or I'd probably just be really annoyed by him. <laughs> so... Yeah, um, la, 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 la. do you think you'll be in a, rela a, little, a relationship two months from now? I hope so. We'll see. But no, probably. Um, who from the opposite gender is on your mind? Opposite gender, my boyfriend. Does talking about sex make you uncomfortable? With certain people. If I'm close to that person, or even if I'm not close to that person, if I, like, just met them and they ask me stuff, I'm okay with talking to them. But um, with, like, family members, no. Even my brother, I'm like, I don't, I don't know. Even my, like, my cousin, who is, like, my sister and my brother, I just, I, I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm uncomfortable, I don't want to talk to you about it. But my friends I'm fine with. Um, how long is this video? Should I stop? Yeah. <laughs> Who was the last person you had a deep conversation with? Um, I'm probably going to say Matt, but I don't know. I have deep conversations with a lot of people, so I don't know. What does your most recent text say? I have no idea because I don't know where my phone is. So I don't, I don't know. Um, how do you feel about abortion? I'm going to skip that one because I don't want to answer that. Do you like big crowds of people? Yes, sometimes. But if it's like a really, really confined area, no, I hate it because I get claustrophobic. But if it's just a bunch of people, yeah, I'm fine with it. Do you believe in luck and miracles? Yes, I do. I believe in luck and I do believe in miracles very much because I've had things happen to me that, yeah. <sighs> what good thing has happened this summer? A lot. My whole life kind of changed, honestly. My whole life changed, so a lot. Um, would you kiss the last person you kissed again? Yes. Do you think there's life on other planets? Yes. 
Do you still talk to your first crush? No. That was a long time ago. Do you like bubble back? Sometimes. Do you like your neighbors? I don't know my neighbors, but I know his name is Will Smith. I'm not even kidding. And I figured out his password to his Wi-Fi. So, I don't know. Um, where did I go? What are your bad habits? I have too many to list. Where would you like to travel? I'd love to travel to France. I would absolutely love it. Do you have trust issues? No, but I'm a very jealous person, but I'm, I don't have trust issues at all. Favorite part of your daily routine? Sleeping. What body part are you most uncomfortable with? On me? My stomach and my legs. On anyone else? I, I don't know. Feet. Oh, that's it. I hate feet. I hate them. What do you do when you wake up? I go and pee. I'm pretty sure that's what everyone does. Um, you wish your skin was lighter or darker? I'm really okay with being super pale. Like, I don't tan or burn ever. So, um, honestly, I'm okay with that. I, I like my skin. Um, who are you most comfortable around? Dustin. I can do anything. I don't even care what it is. Um, have any of your exes told you they regret breaking up? Yes. Yes. Oh, my God. Just recently, too. Do you ever want to get married? It's a tough question for me. I do want to get married, but I think I want the wedding more than the marriage. You know? Okay. Um, is your hair long enough for a ponytail? Kinda. I have, like, this much at the end that falls down, but it's getting there. Uh, which celebrities would you like having a threesome with? Adam Lambert and Tommy Jo Ratliff. Yes, Adam Lambert and Tommy Jo Ratliff. That would be the most sexual threesome ever. Um, spell your name with your chin. That's for typing, and I can actually do that, so it's pointless. Do you play sports? <laughs> no. Would you rather live without TV or music? Without TV. I could live without TV, not music. Have you ever liked someone and never told them? Hell yes. I mean, you like a bunch of people in your lifetime. You're not going to go up to every single person you like and go, hey, I like you. Stupid. <laughs> um, what do you say during awkward silences? Awkward. That's what I say. Um, do you think age matters in relationships? To an extent. Like, if you're like 47, don't be dating an 18 year old. That's stupid. But, you know, if you're 21 and you're dating a 19 year old, or if you're 21 and dating an 18 year old, I feel like it just depends. Because some people are even more mature mentally than they are by age and stuff. It's just, it depends. Just don't make it creepy, you know? Um, what are your favorite stores to shop in? Hot Topic. I'm not, like, gothic. I just really like their clothes. Um, Hot Topic and Target. That's where I get my clothes. So, yeah. Um, what do you want to do after high school? I I graduated high school in 2010, and um, I'm still at home. Yay. And, um, but I am hopefully moving to New York in January or maybe November. So, yeah. <laughs> Do you believe everyone deserves a second chance? Sometimes. Sometimes. If you're being extremely quiet, what does it mean? I'm really, really focused or I'm thinking or I'm reading something. Um, usually if I'm, if I'm reading something, I'm probably not going to notice you're trying to get my attention. If I'm really, really focused on something, people always think I'm sad, um, but I'm just really quiet. Like, my boss even said that I, I remind her of Eeyore a lot because um, if I'm focused on a task, I, I just am focused and I have that, like, look on my face and just seem very sad, but I'm not. I'm a very happy person. Um, 
You smile at strangers. Yes, I do. I smile at strangers all the time. And then sometimes they give me really weird looks. I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm happy. Um, trip to outer space or bottom of this ocean. I want to say outer space because I'm really afraid of things in the ocean. Like, I won't, I hate swimming at the beach because I like hold on to somebody at the beach because I don't want to touch anything. So, um, yeah, outer space. Do you want a roommate? Not right now, but when I go to college, yes. No matter what anyone says, like, you may hate them, blah, blah, blah. Even if they're completely opposite from me, I want a roommate. Just because it'd be cool to meet someone you've never met before from somewhere you've never been before and find, like, even one thing in common with them. So that'd be cool. Um, what are you paranoid about? Everything. I'm the most paranoid person ever. <laughs> what was the meanest thing someone ever said to you? They criticized my acting. I think that was it. I mean, like, people call me fat and ugly and stuff, which I have gotten used to, but when someone criticizes my acting and says that I'm not good or says that I'm a terrible singer, it hurts me, because I know that I'm not a wonderful singer. I don't even know if I sound good, slightly good, but I know that I can act, and I hate when people are like, you suck. It just, it, I had one person tell me, like, criticize my acting and said it wasn't good, but in more words, um, that hurt the nicest thing oh, well, um, Jessica Walk she said that I'm a, an amazing actor and that's why she was pushing me so hard because she knows I have it in me and I was like oh so yeah because she's phenomenal um, have you done something recently you hope no one finds out no I've done something I hope my parents don't find out but I haven't done anything that, like, anyone else can't find out. There's a lot of things I've done I don't want my parents to find out. I want to keep my innocent image to them. Um, what language do you want to learn? Language, language, language. I took Spanish in eighth grade. I took German my first three years of high school, and then I took French my senior year of high school. But... If I could learn more of a language, I know a lot of German, but if I could learn more, I'd, I want to learn French because I adored that language. It was just so fun to talk and it was so romantic, even though I'm not really a romantic person, but I just adored French. Um, just rolls off the tongue. No, it was 50. <sighs> God, that was fun. So if you have more, I'm sure you don't, but if you have more, Feel free. I really don't mind answering them because it gives me something to do. Alright, so bye.